everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. I'm going to, I'm going to show a video about a very unusual type of causation of lower leg pain. Not, now again, this is very unusual because this situation where the person could, if they, they are able to, there, there's no pain in like a vertical movement. It's like I always say, you go to the gym and you could squat a thousand pounds or whatever, whatever weight you have or leg press. However, you can't walk five feet. And the pain, the pain originates in the side of the leg, the side of the knee. Now, it's, if you're, it's going to mimic sciatica. People are, think, are gonna think that they have sciatic pain, which sciatic pain comes from the sacrum. It goes through your buttocks. And the sciatic nerve is the size of your middle finger. Yeah, your middle finger. And it's, a, and it's strong that you could actually be picked up. Now the sciatic nerve comes through the, through the piriform, I mean through the piriformis, down your buttocks, down the, the back of your leg, the hamstrings, and then it's, I'm gonna go around this side, it splits in the back of the knee to the common peroneal nerves or the fibular nerves, depending on how you read it. Now you have one division going to, back, to, the, to the back, which innervates the calf muscles, and then you have one that comes to the front and innervates the anterior muscles. Now here's, here's the clincher. Remember, like I said, you could squat or you could do a lot of leg work on a vertical plane with a lot of weight, but you can't walk five feet. And it hurts on the side of your kneecap. So when it comes to the anatomy, you have this, the biggest bone in the body, very, very strong, the femur. And then you have the patella, which is your kneecap. And then the lower leg bone here, this is your tibia. And then we have a floater bone called the fibula. Now with the fibula, it supports the translation of when we bend our knees. Because when we, the knee is a very important joint because it's not like your, your elbow, which is a hinge joint. The knee is very complex because it actually has a rotational component. And the fibula, there's three parts of the fibula. So you have your tibial, the proximal tibial fibular joint. You have the medial, and also you have your distal at the end here, which is right next to the lateral malleolus, which is your ankle. Now, what happens is that some way, shape, or form, when you hurriedly or quickly, or it was unguarded, you went from a seated to a standing or twisting again. And so the ligaments and the tendons get slightly laxed, and two bones together make up a joint, and it gets kind of subluxated, or it creates non-motion. Remember, the sciatic nerve comes down the back of your hamstrings, and one division splits laterally to the, out, to the anterior compartment, and the other one just stays posterior. And what happens is that these bones aren't moving. So this is where, when you're walking, because remember, when you're walking, there's a slight rotational component to the upper and lower extremity. And when the tibial fibular joint, the proximal, now it could get either displaced anteriorly or posteriorly. Nine times out of 10, in my experience, I found it displaced anteriorly. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it, if it's, how to correct it if it moves anterior and also do posterior because it's two different types of adjustments. It's very commonly missed and I've done it myself. And because when this isn't moving, like I said, you could squat a thousand pounds, but you can't walk five feet because the tib fib joint here, the proximal, will it get subluxated distally? Sure, it will, but that's a rarity because it's involved also with plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. So their movement down there, if it does get displaced or subluxated, that's from a totally different cause. That's typically from an ankle sprain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you with a patient of mine, an example of someone having this tibiofibular dysfunction and pain, and they're not gonna be able to walk longer than five feet without being in excruciating a lot of pain.